Welcome back, YouTubers and Man fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing at the man cheese as always. Got another Man 22 preview video for you guys. That's right. Last video I did was top 10 offensive teams, so this time is going to be top 10 defensive teams. Whether you play CFM connected franchise mode or you play regs, it doesn't matter. These are going to be the top 10 teams to pick to make sure you have the best defensive teams possible to shut down your opponents. I said in the last video when I did top 10 offensive teams, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I still want to do top 10 teams to pick overall that's offense and defense and also want to do top 10 sleeper teams uh, for people that like a little bit of a challenge when it comes to CFM or regs um, so hit the like button and let me know in the comment section for those videos as well as let me know if your favorite team didn't make the list or you think a team that I didn't put on the list should have made the list other than that let's go and get right into the video now I gotta be honest the 10th team was probably the hardest I'm starting off with the Rams uh, I don't really think this is a great defense anymore last year they were the number one defense in the league but they lost so many players so many players especially in the secondary but they still had to make the list because of just two players Aaron Donald who might be the best defensive player in the game anytime you play against Aaron Donald you know it this guy is just so disruptive to any offensive line he just rips right through every offensive line and blows up just about half your plays I think that uh, Leonard Floyd is a really good outside linebacker for the most part if you run a 3-4 defense so they have a couple of playmakers um, that the two that really make this this team make the list though are Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey. Probably the best defensive lineman in the game and probably the best cornerback in the game on the same team. That should still, even in real life, there should still be a top 10 defense just because of those two players. Next up, we got the Cardinals who went out and got one of the best pass rushers in the game. One of the most stout defenders in the game in J.J. Watt. They just threw him onto a pretty solid defense. There's another guy too, which I think I would probably just put on the defensive line. If I run like a 4-3 or even a 3-4, I would slap Chandler Jones on the other side of that whatever you do just make sure that those two guys are going after the quarterback every single play and you're gonna get the most out of this defense guys like Isaiah Simmons who I did I don't know if he's really a linebacker now I mean I know last year he was kind of everywhere but he's a 94 speed guy if he's really a linebacker now and if you can't change that like you can in CFM um, I'd probably put him back in the secondary because to me secondary is the most important thing and then the cornerback situation got a little bit worse when they lost um, you know uh, Patrick Peterson but they still have some pretty decent guys. They brought in Malcolm Butler, obviously, a former Super Bowl MVP. They got Byron Murphy Jr., who was a second-round pick not too long ago. So there's still some good talent at the cornerback spot. Then when you get to safety, they still have one of the best safeties in the league in Buda Baker. Next up, we got the Packers. This is a pretty similar situation. Teams that are lower just seem to be missing something. This team doesn't have a great defensive front. Um, they have a couple of pretty weak guys. Kenny Clark's solid, obviously. And then they have Damon Harrison, uh, you know, who's a really good run stuffer, but that's about it once you start getting further back though they just start getting better so there is smith one of the better pass rushers in the game then you get to the secondary that's really where they make their hay jair alexander is pressing for maybe the best cornerback in the league uh he's just he's just got it all he's a shutdown cornerback as you can see right there uh based off of that alone this is a really good secondary but they also have some good cornerbacks young cornerbacks too like kevin king you don't find six foot three cornerbacks with 90 speed just anywhere uh then they also drafted in the first round eric stokes who from the looks of this list is an athletic freak if he's really going to come in anywhere close to a 97 speed that's also rare six foot three cornerbacks is rare and uh 97 speed cornerbacks are rare so you're going to have a ton to work with outside of their outstanding cornerback in Jair Alexander. Then you go to the secondary, to the safety positions. Darnell Savage is a really good young safety. And then they have one of the best safeties in the game as far as a, you know, a speed combination, Adrian Amos. Um, and that just gives you one of the best secondaries in the league. To me, to make this list, I really value secondary the most. So you're going to see that be a trend when it comes to a lot of these uh, teams being on here is that they have really strong secondaries. Next up, we have probably one of the best run-stopping teams in the Steelers. I mean, they have so much beef up front with Stefan Tuitt, Cameron Hayward, and even as far as, you know, TJ Watt. I mean, these guys are really just absolute monsters at the line of scrimmage. That's play, that pays dividends whether it's passing or running. They get after the quarterback. They're going to stop run plays. And then they also have some really good user linebackers like Devin Bush, who's a 90 speed. You're not going to find a ton of 90 speed linebackers in the game. I'm surprised he's still rated so low because the guys had a lot of success in the league. When you get to the back half, though, they lose a little bit. Uh, they lost some cornerbacks in the offseason. Joe Hayden's really old. He's not very fast. Uh, that's their biggest issue. They probably need an entire new cornerbacking system, uh, which you'd have to probably do in CFM. And it's not easy to find cornerbacks. If you go to safety, though, 
though Mika Fitzpatrick is one of the best safeties in the game, and Terrell Edmonds is a good young player. I mean, he's a 90 speed safety. You got two safeties that are both 90 speed. So if you're running, you know, cover two or whatever, you definitely have guys that can uh, cover a lot of ground. Next up, we got. The Bears. The Bears are a team that has made, you know, a living off of their defense for the last couple of years. They just needed a quarterback, and hopefully they got that this year. But ultimately, their defensive front is going to be their strength. Akeem Hicks is very similar to what I was talking about when I was talking about the uh, the Steelers. You got a 95 strength guy that's going to hold down that front. It's going to stop a lot of run plays all on his own. Eddie Goldman, same thing. So you have a lot of strength up front. Then you have an amazing pass rusher once again. Get Khalil Mack on the line somehow. I, I'm not worried about him dropping into coverage at any point in time. I want him rushing the quarterback every single play. He's probably the second most disruptive uh, you know, pass rusher or guy on the defensive front in the game aside from Aaron Donald. Then you have Roquan Smith, who's a really good player. Once again, 89-speed linebacker. That's pretty rare. Um, Robert Quinn, another guy I'd probably have on the defensive line. He doesn't really make sense in coverage at any point in time. So lots of pass rushers, lots of guys in the front seven that are very strong or very fast or just, you know, just good at getting after the quarterback or stopping the run. When you get to the secondary, though, they definitely lost a little bit in that department when they lost Kyle Fuller, when they released him, whatever it was. Desmond Trufant's a pretty solid replacement, though. Jalen Johnson was a second-round pick last year. He's pretty solid. Then you go to their safeties. Eddie Jackson is one of the best safeties in the game. And Tashawn Gibson is a very good uh, compliment. So they still have a lot of uh, options when it comes to secondary, but that's why they're not higher on the list. Next up, we got the Bills. They have some good young players. AJ Epinesa was a second round pick last year. Um, you know, they still have Ed Oliver, who I think to me, in my opinion, Ed Oliver's a rising star. He's probably the best one on the defensive front. Star Latule is definitely a good player to have. Jerry Hughes is still a good pass rusher. I mean, you can see they have, what, three, four guys that are 80 plus along the defensive front. No real star player. Like I said, to me, the closest thing to being a star player will be Ed Oliver. But ultimately, just a lot of consistency there. They draft Drafted Gregory Rousseau, who's supposed to be one of the most athletic guys coming out in the draft when it comes to, to you know front four guys. So hopefully they'll give him a good athletic profile when the game comes out. Tremaine Edwards is another guy, very athletic, A7 speed. I think he had a great year. He's probably going to go up in rating, in my opinion. Hopefully get closer to a 90. Then you go to the secondary. Tredavis White's one of the best cornerbacks in the game. Levi Wallace had a really good season or last year. Taron Johnson had a really good year last year. So you have three really good cornerbacks. Then you have one of the best safety teams in the game, and Mika High who's a superstar 90 speed guy and Jordan Poyer who's also you know pretty close to that level so one of the best secondaries in the game is one of the reasons that they're so high on this level but it's also because the defense is so consistent next up we got the football team now this here is one of the best defensive lines especially when it comes to getting after the quarterback and stopping the run it's one of the most well-crafted defensive lines in the game Montez Sweat 91 speed that's super rare coming off the edge uh, and it's really important Chase Young hopefully he had a monster rookie year i would think he might be close to a 90 already um, but he's one of the best defensive ends in the game so two of the best defensive ends in the game then when you get inside they have some of the best defensive interior linemen in the game as well uh with jared allen 93 strength he's going to stop a lot of run plays matthew ionitis 98 strength he's going to stuff a lot of run plays and then deron Payne, a former first round pick as well who has a 95 strength i mean they're just loaded on the defensive line that alone would get them on this list but then when you move back further they have a lot more talent as well uh they draft after uh, Jamin Davis, who has a here they have him as an 87 speed. I'm not really sure. We'll see how that works out when the game comes out officially. But he's definitely going to be a fast player. Guy, I think ran like a 4 4 40 or something like that. Definitely got some speed to him. But then you get to the secondary, they made some serious improvements. Kendall Fuller is a really good player. They also went and brought uh, went out and brought in William Jackson the third, who has an amazing size and speed profile. Six foot 93 speed. That's really all you need. And then the other safety is Landon Collins who is a good in-the-box guy. I mean, he's almost like a spare linebacker. I would almost make him a linebacker, to be honest with you. Next up, we got the Broncos. Now, the Broncos, I was surprised at how good this defense is. They made a lot of strides in the offseason. Their defensive front isn't necessarily the strongest. Shelby Harris, obviously, you have an 80 overall guy. Uh, defensive tackle, they don't really have a ton. Uh, but Von Miller's coming back. He's going to be an absolute stud, just like he always is. An amazing edge rusher. Once again, I would probably put him on the defensive line just to get after the quarterback every play. 
Uh, and then, you know, Bradley Chubb, another guy. Put him on the defensive line. Put your pass rushers on the line. Get the, Let them just go after the quarterback the entire game. Those two guys alone should do a ton for you. But then you get to the secondary, and they made some serious improvements. Kyle Fuller is a great pickup, but the best pickup they might have made might be Patrick Sertain the second. So whether you're in regs or CFM, you got two guys right there that can play outside. And then you can also see Bryce Callahan is a, is a perfect slot cornerback. So they might have one of the best cornerback situations in the game. And that doesn't even include Ronald Darby, who's a, a solid 80 right here. So four cornerbacks that you can definitely um, you know utilize however you can. You get to the safeties. They might have the best safety tandem in the league as well. Justin Simmons, one of the best safeties in the game. Kareem Jackson, one of the highest rated safeties in the game. So you're just totally loaded in the secondary. Next up, we got the Super Bowl champion Buccaneers. And Dominican Sue kind of an older player but still one of the most stout defenders when it comes to the line of scrimmage in the game Vita Vea same thing guys 97 strength I mean this is you know those two guys alone is going to give you instant run defense then you got some really good edge defenders too and Shaq Barrett who you know 20, a couple years ago he had like 20 sacks Levante David one of the best linebackers in the game especially one of the best coverage linebackers in the game Devin White who had a monster Super Bowl 92 speed linebackers he might be the fastest linebacker in the game I'm not even sure but that's really fast so he's definitely a great user candidate uh then jason pierre paul once again i would typically put a guy like this on the defensive line i don't want them in coverage they have enough linebackers that you could do that you could just make sure you get these pass rushers going after the quarterback on every single play the secondary is pretty strong they have some really good athletes like jamal dean uh jamel dean he's a 93 speed sean murphy bunting 92 speed and these guys are all young they're all under a couple years then antoine winfield jr had a really strong rookie season Season, and he's only in his second year so he's going to be dirt cheap for a while 89 speed uh, a2 overall don't really have a great second safety but like i said this has all the workings of a defense that's going to be very good right now in regs and it's going to be very good in the future because of some of the young players and then last but not least we have the browns the browns best defense in the game kind of surprising but they really have an amazing team this year uh miles garrett he's a, a, a tr he's just gonna wreck game plans all on his own right here he's a 98 overall i don't know if that's official or not but he's a really great player. Then Olivia Vernon on the other side gives you two really good pass rushers. Malik Jackson is a really solid interior player. And then they went out and got Jadavion Clowney, everybody's favorite. You know what I mean? How many people don't love Jadavion Clowney and Madden? The dude is just such a cheat code. So then you look at some of the other uh, linebackers they have. I really like uh, Jeremiah Awusu Koromoa. People might not know this guy too well, uh, but ultimately this guy here is he's got a great athletic profile. He's probably going to have some of the highest coverage grades of any rookie linebacker in the game i'm not going to waste time looking at it then you go to the secondary denzel ward one of the best cornerbacks in the game one of the fastest you know what i mean to me speed is more important than overall and a 95 speed cornerback with that type of overall is just insane uh they also have greedy williams once again great size speed combo young player 92 or sorry 93 speed with a six foot two size that's incredibly rare they also drafted greg newsome one of the best cornerbacks in the draft this last year i think it was their first round pick so they're loaded at cornerback then you get to the safeties grant delpit's a good young prospect once again six foot three 88 speed got to work him up a little bit and then john johnson they brought over from the rams who's one of the best uh, safeties in the game so they're just loaded ronnie harris is a pretty solid player too so they're just loaded in secondary loaded in pass rush uh this is my pick for the best defense in the game and don't be surprised when the offensive video comes out that they're going to be one of the best offenses in the game as well so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below